A super chat to begin from Cowboy85. Why are we not making or using Deuce the same way as Turpin? Deuce can make this offense more dangerous as a gadget play. I, I, I think the reason is, how many teams do you see use two types of Cavante Turpin players? Nobody, really. Like Waddle and Hill are fast, but those guys are pure receivers, too. I, I, I think you're on to it that outside of like the occasional just like backup handoff stuff, the Cowboys view the Cavante Turpin role and the Deuce Vaughn role as kind of similar on offense, um, which makes it tough to, to use both guys. If, if, if you're not going to give Deuce Vaughn just like a drive as a running back each game, which I think the, the lack of special teams value, by the way, also brings down because Vaughn and Turpin can only do returns right now. They're, 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 neither guy's going to be like a gunner or a personal protector. So the, the, the issue is the, the RB3 does not help much on special teams, doesn't have much of a game day role. Dan C, that Arizona game is going to be the downfall. Uh, it, would, it would cost you tiebreakers. Yet you have one clunker every year. That, 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 was, your, that was your clunker, which is d d disappointing, I know. Anthony L., is Martavis Bryant going to play for this team? Again, I've said it before, I think he ends up being a little bit more of a, you know, an Antonio Callaway type of player. I, I just, I, I think you got to keep the expectations low for guy who's not played football in five, in over five years, like NFL football, I should say, in five years. I think you have to set your expectations accordingly. I'm not going to get hyped to be like, oh yeah, big site, he's big, he's fast, I get it. Let, let's check in again at this week of practice. Maybe we'll hear some more positive things, but... I don't really know what the, the playing time path is because who, who are you going to play over him right now? Like, you're not going to give – Tolbert's played well. Tolbert, do you see that, that sideline catch by Tolbert on the, on the Dak sack escape somehow? That was awesome. I'm not playing him over Tolbert. And remember we mentioned Deuce Vaughn? Bryant is not a sp special teamer. So what am I going to do with the receiver five-ish who does not play special teams? And how many reps is he really getting with Dak anyway? Like, not many. So will Martavis Bryant play this year for the Cowboys? Y for yes, N for no. It's the pinned comment on today's video. The ad comes here on YouTube. Take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. From Justin M., we can go to that uh, the tiebreaker graphic here too, Producer Chris. If the Cowboys end with the same record as Philly, how would a tiebreaker work? It's a great question and somewhat complicated. So it would be a division tiebreaker. So it's actually a little bit less complicated than uh, some of the uh, chaos three teams and you know, non-division tiebreaker scenarios there. The number one, of course, would be head-to-head -head because that's how the division would work. If you beat Philly, you would be tied head-to-head. -head. So we'll go to the next one. Division record. If you win out and Philly loses their next two games, the division record would be tied. So we would go to the common games results. It would be a loss against each other, a loss against the Niners, Jets and Cardinals, both teams played. Candidate to those out goes to conference re results. Well, the Cardinals loss gives the edge to Dallas. Now, all of the, or to Philadelphia. All of these are actually winning percentages, so that, that's why... If the Eagles lose uh, Niners-Cowboys, then Dallas would actually t take the lead because they've played more division games for the time being. But if you really want to win this division in two of the final three games, Eagles play the Giants. You need Tommy DeVito to beat Philadelphia. That's kind of the only way it it's going to happen unless the Eagles drop an extra game and you go undefeated. Whether that be to you know the the the, the Seahawks or whoever, you kind of need an extra Eagles loss right now. Today's show is made possible by Rocket Money. Who here has had a subscription they forgot about? Yeah, don't don't we all eventually make that mistake? It happens to everybody. In fact, over eighty percent of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. It's too easy to subscribe to a free trial for the completely forget about it once you stop using it. Maybe like, you know, Apple TV because you wanted to watch Ted Lasso and then you just forgot to cancel it. 
right as that, and then you remember, right as the monthly charge just hit. And you go, ah, well, I might as well wait and use it, and then you don't use it, and then you forget it again. It's just a cycle of stupidity. So I'm a big fan of rocket money, and it's self-inflicted stupidity, to be clear. Rocket money is a personal finance that defines and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, helps lower your bills, all in one place. For 5 million users and counting, Rocket Money has helped save its customers an average of $720 a year with $1 billion in total savings so far. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash cowboys. That's rocketmoney.com slash cowboys. Links in the comments and the description of today's show. Check them out right now. Food review. It was a disaster class idea uh, from Dan Quinn to Think Blank and Shadow DK. You know what's funny is I, I, I think the reason why he did that is because he watched Cam Taylor Britt shadow and pretty much lock down uh, um, DK Metcalf when the Bengals and Seahawks played earlier this year. And Cam Taylor Britt is 5'11", 196. But CTB shut him down. So I, th I think that's why Quinn thought, thought it could happen, but it, it, you're right, it did, did not go well. Uh, anyways, when will the re media, re media realistically bend the knee and give Dak his flowers after an MVP or a Super Bowl? And they'll bitch and moan about the MVP all the way up to the voting, as, as they've been. They've invented new criteria that actually doesn't apply to any candidate this year and say that's why Dan can't, Dak can't have it. That, that, that's what they'll do. The goalposts will always move. They, they always will until you, to, until you do it at the absolute peak. There you go. From Tyler, what is your draft board looking like for Dallas? I have barely started. Uh, he says, I like Mims or Fuaga in the first. I, I, I like Mims in the first a lot. Uh, corner in the second, okay. Cedric Way in the third, that's fine. I don't know if Zach Frazier, even with the injury, gets to you in the fourth. That, that might be asking a, a little bit too much. And then maybe, maybe we can fill in O-line DB depth in the second. Um, you might need a running back somewhere in there, too. Just throwing that out there. Maybe, and I, I, I like going O-line heavy, though, so I'm not going to be mad at that one. Matt Jones, is Michael Gallup done after this year? Maybe. <laughs> I, uh, I don't feel great about him. Is it an accident that I thought... I thought Dak's worst throw was one to, to Gallup. Like, right? Like, how many throws did how many, how many throws do you remember Dak like being inaccurate on? Not, not the not the work completer throwaways, but just like, ah, you missed that one. It was the Gallup comeback route. And you know why that was? Because there was zero separation. I, I I don't know. This 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 might just be it for Gallup. Just just might be. Because Cooks, Cooks, Cooks is under contract too, remember. So will Gallup be on the Cowboys in 2024? One for yes, he'll get one more year. Zero for no. Sound off in the comment section. CDBM, uh, pretty much what we're doing there. Uh, who is CB2 next year, Bland or Gilmore? Bland. Gilmore is, uh, is in the last year of his deal. He might not be back. Bland will be. I think what they would do is look for a new nickel. Uh, that, that would be my expectation uh, from that perspective. So Bland... Uh, I think for sure that the CB2 over Stefan Gilmore. But we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, on that front. Oh, one more note. Uh, Jordan Lewis, also a free agent. So I think you might kind of flop, flip out both of those guys uh, for some young, younger new guys maybe. If you have not already, please subscribe to us here at the Dallas Cowboys Report. Free Cowboys videos every single day right here on the channel. News. Rumors, of course, the watch parties will be live for the Eagles game. Sorry there's no live show this week, uh, but we'll have you guys covered again uh, following that. Hit that sub button right now. Twizzly, should we re-sign Cooks for next season? He is under contract next year. Uh, when the Cowboys traded for Brandon Cooks, they actually got him to take a pay cut. They, they got him to take less money to play for Dallas. I was kind of shocked by that. Uh, he is under contract next year with a $10 million cap charge. It's pretty good. 
That's, that, that's very low relative to the other wide receivers. That's less than uh, MVS is getting right now for the Chiefs. Put that in perspective. Who do we, who do we let, let go of? Uh, could be some big names. Could be guys like Gallup, Tyron Smith, who's also, who is going to be a free agent. We'll see what they do. Maybe, maybe Van Der Esch, whether that might be retirement, frankly. All right, score prediction. Who you got? Cowboys against the Eagles. Sound off in the comment section right now. Speaking of TKG, who is the toughest team on our script the rest of the year? Is it the Eagles? Yes. It goes uh, Eagles, Dolphins, mm, Lions, Bills. Ah, maybe Lions over Dolphins. That's what I was thinking about there. Eagles, Lions, Dolphins, Bills, Commanders. In a game that might not matter for them anyway. Finally, from Moxie's Mix, what are the chances for Detroit to win the first seed? Uh, they got to they gotta win out and get a bunch of help because uh, they're, they're two games back right now. Uh, very unlikely, about even less likely than Dallas because Dallas just controls their own destiny more because they get to play the Eagles still. Um, but tough for Detroit to get to, the, to get to that number one. So that Packers loss is, is going to haunt them.